everybody. Does God really answer prayer? Are you on your knees praying and praying and praying and nothing's happening? You think like you're wasting your time? You think like God, are you really listening to me? Do you, do you really hear me? Are you really there? I'm here to tell you that he does. God really does answer prayer. I remember when my kids were young. It was Christmas time. My kids were little. You know, little, 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 little. And I was buying them Christmas presents. Well, I was $50 short. $50 short. I needed $50 more dollars to finish shopping, to make everything even. I was shopping for four kids. And I, I, I wanted to keep it even, wanted to keep it fair, and I was short $50. I needed $50 just to make it fair. Well, nobody knew this. Nobody knew this at the time. Only me. My mom didn't know. My dad didn't know. My husband didn't. He, I, he didn't even know. I didn't tell him at the time either. So $50 short. I'm like bumming. I'm like, dang, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't want to I don't want to hurt the kids feelings I don't want to make it I don't I don't want to do that I it needs all to be fair and I'm praying God I don't know what we're gonna do but I just need 50 more dollars just to make it fair I don't want anybody to hurt I don't I don't want to upset anybody and you know what I prayed that for a while every day it was like I don't know and my heart was breaking because it's I wanted it to be even. I wanted it to be even for, for my kids. So what do you know, one day I went out and got the mail, you know, and just a normal day, wasn't thinking about anything, just doing it. Went and got the mail, brought it in and opened it. I'm like, there's a letter here. It was addressed to me, but there was no return address on it, no nothing. So I'm like, well, okay, open the letter. Do you know what was in that letter? $50. There was a $50 bill in that letter. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Where did this come from? Nobody knew I needed $50 to buy one more thing to make everything even for my kids. And nobody knew. Nobody knew but me. And I'm like, ugh. Oh. And as soon as I opened that and I saw it and I knew, I just knew. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody out there listened to you and sent me $50 because I needed it for something else. And I was like, oh, wow. Wow, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Somebody listened to God and that answered my prayer amazing that was amazing so i was able to go buy that one more gift to make everything even on christmas morning then here's another one about mm, seven eight years ago i started praying god i want a love story i've been through some really crap in my life and you know i just want to be happy and I hear these people talking about all these love stories and how they met their husband and how nice it was and how nice it sounded. And it's like, I want a love story. God, I want a love story in my life. I'm going to wait until you give me that love story. So one day I was living at my mom's at the time, my mom and dad, and I was on Facebook and all of a sudden just out of the blue up came recommended Robert my husband well Robert a schoolmate that I went that I knew now not only did I go to school with him and graduate with him he was my very first boyfriend he was I just fell fell head over heels for him you know your first love you always just kind of just have that feeling you know that love feeling and I'm thinking oh wonder what he's doing now these days hmm I dated that was my first boyfriend I was his first girlfriend and it was like seventh eighth seventh and eighth grade maybe some in ninth grade and then we broke up and went our separate ways 
but I always still had this place in my heart for him because you know it's your first love so anyway I thought hmm, wonder what he's doing I don't know so I just thought oh, should I friend him oh, should I oh why not I friended him and I'm sitting there within 10 minutes he accepted my friend request and then he messaged me hi how have you been and I'm like oh I'm okay and we got to talking back and forth and I found out he was single he was single yay 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 for me and I'm single too so I thought oh this is exciting this is exciting because that was my very first love and I still had a little place in my heart for him and I just thought oh this is cool so we talked that night and we talked the next night on Facebook and we talked the next night on Facebook and then he said hey can I call you and I went oh, okay okay so I gave him my phone number so the next day just doing my thing you know and my phone rings and it was him and I'm like oh, 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 it's him, it's him, it's him. And I'm thinking oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh um, what do I do what do I do what do I do I did not answer the phone I didn't answer it I didn't answer it I'm holding the phone in my hand and I'm like what do I do I didn't answer I didn't answer it didn't answer it. so he left a voicemail and I listened to the voicemail and I'm like mm -hmm. I was so excited I was so excited so then I called him back I called him back and we talked for a little bit and he's like do you want to um do you want to go out or you want to do something and I'm like oh, I was so nervous why was I so nervous I mean look how old I am all right I was so nervous I'm like yeah we could do that okay he's like what about this Friday night and I'm like okay oh okay we could we could do something I'm so nervous I'm so he's like well what do you want to do I said I don't know let me let me get back with you so I called my oldest daughter and told her I said oh my gosh Amy you're not gonna believe this and she's like oh that's cool and she's like well I said Friday night she's like oh well I'm gonna go to the bowling alley and because her hus husband at the time worked at the bowling alley she said I'll be there and I said okay um I'll have him meet me at the bowling alley you're gonna be there yes mom I'll be there I said all right will you stay with me <laughs> I was so scared I was so nervous I don't know why and she's like mom are you serious and she's like oh I got your back what am I like your wingman what what is this and I said yeah 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 you are so um, my daughter Friday Friday night came around and it was like at the um, bowling alley we went to the bowling alley I got my daughter got there and then I got there and I'm talking to my daughter and I'm so nervous and she's laughing at me because I'm so nervous and he walks in and I'm like oh there he is there he is there he is so he came over to the table and he sat down and we started talking and everything then was okay and he met he got to meet my daughter and my granddaughter that night because I wouldn't let her leave and he, the night went well so my daughter finally said, Mom, I have to go. And I said, okay. So we ended the night then. We went out and we talked for a little bit in the parking lot. And then he got in his truck and I got my car and we, and we went out. So that that's all I could handle. I, that, I was so nervous. That was it. That's all I could handle. Well, the next day he came along. And actually he called me that night and he wanted did you get home okay? Yeah, I'm okay. We talked for a little while on the phone that night and it was okay. So then the next day, I think he came over. He came over to my mom and dad's house to see me. And that, uh, and then the rest is history. Here we are, married. We got married. Isn't that exciting? So God answered my prayer. I wanted a love story. I got a love story. I married my very, 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 very first boyfriend that I still had a place in my heart for. And he is just absolutely awesome. He loves me unconditionally. He helps take care of me when I'm sick and can't move very well, because that happens. He loves my children like they're his. He treats my kids like they're his, and my grandkids too. In fact, my grandkids will walk in the room, where's G-Paw? Where's G-Paw? Oh, 
buzz right past me because they want G-Paw. <laughs> All right, so God does answer prayer. He does. Hang in there and pray for something reasonable. I mean, don't, you can't pray for a million dollars. You know, that's not, that's not reasonable. You know, pray from your heart. Whatever's in your heart and, and that's what you need, it'll happen. It may not be in your time. In fact, it won't be in your time. But it, it'll be in God's time, and it'll happen. All right. If you like the video, come back for more. Subscribe. Like the video. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.